Okay, so I'm going to show you um, just a couple of simple steps on how to um, use the uh, Resi Tint Plus. Now, they're a um, beautiful leafing grade metal pigment and um, together with the Mastercast, you should get a really good result with them. Now, I'm just mixing in some black pigment here just to um, basically show you some different ways um, and they will really light up on top of this black. The black's quite solid, um, opaque, which is what I want. So there's a couple of different ways that you can apply it. So um, first things first, these are your Resitint Plus metal. This one is the rose gold and this one is the aluminium. You've also got rich gold and copper available. Aluminium first, you don't need too much, I'm always generous, so small amount, more is better. Be careful when you're mixing it, you don't want it to fly up in the air, so really push that down into the resin. I'll leave this sitting here as the bubbles burst and obviously lift out of the Mastercast, you'll start seeing this aluminium leafing sitting on top. Now the amount I'm using is more than enough, but you, I find that I get best results when you use a lot more. You can already see, look at that liquid rose gold happening on top there. Now this is one way of using it, you mix it all the way completely into the resin so you then have a solidness. Now what you should be seeing here is your leafing on top so it starts forming a metal surface. So that is one way that you can do um, it into your artwork. The second way is, there's about four different ways, so the second way is you can Sprinkle some actually onto your dry board. Now this is, a, this is quite a lot. Just be mindful, you don't want to be breathing this stuff in so make sure that you... have your face away from, from that. I'm just going to show you these again. You can start seeing they're quite leafy on top now. We'll work with them shortly. So now I'm just going to pour the black pigment on. Your choice how you want to pour your pigment on. I'm just doing a swirl for the sake of this video. Looks a bit more decorative, doesn't it? Already, you can see that these are coming up and leafing beautifully up on top. So I'm just going to make sure that the board's fully covered now before I show you the next step. See that's absolutely gorgeous and you can see as the resin's pulling into each other then it's just lifting those metal resin tint up. So you can make sure that you cut your board's fully covered. Spin this around if you like. Now you can see by spinning it around and dragging that out, you get this beautiful leafing action here. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, I know Aaron doesn't worry about his sides. I'm, I'm a bit of a side Nazi, so I like to make sure that all my sides are fully covered. 
even if it's a demo piece, I don't know why. Okay, beautifully done. We can change our gloves now if we want to. So um, going back, so that's your second way of putting it on dry um, and letting it then absorb into the resin itself and it comes up beautifully leafed on top. Um, the first way going back to here with it poured in the cup, there's a couple of different ways that if you wanted to give it a little bit of a mix on the stick. Drag it through. Always mix it well first, just make sure that there's no settlement, hasn't just all floated up. So you can drag it through on your stick if you want, it's quite fine. It will, while the resin's running out, take it with it. You can pour it on. You can see the pouring on. It really stands out quite a lot. So that's the second way. Um, I'm going to, sorry, the first way or second doesn't matter. I don't think there's, there's any really specific order in which you can do it. Um, I'm going to use this later to show you how to do a really fine line as well. Um, this needs to be pretty much nearly at its setting point to do that. Um, so we'll get down that one at last. I'm just going to change my gloves over. Another way in which you can apply these, you can actually use, if you wanted to, your pop stick and put these on. Now they do expand quite dramatically when you put it on. Um, a small amount goes a long way. So you really get value for money. So we're just applying it with a toothpick now. So you can see, I've just applied, it does fly everywhere, so you probably best bet is to be really careful. But you can just see already, I'm only applying the tiniest small little amount and it's just leafing out, taking over. Just do the same with the rose gold here. So really, give it a say if I don't have a lot on my stick. But already, there it goes. Now, if you wanted to apply it from further up, you're still going to get that beautiful, beautiful dots. But the other way, if you're doing a galaxy theme or anything like this, this aluminium, you don't want to breathe it in, so you really want to hold your head away. Absolutely beautiful when it lands. Okay, a tiny little couple of holes up here, just fill them in. So this is not, I'm just going to pour this into a small cup and hopefully that helps let it settle.
So if you wanted to, you can really draw some details. the artwork there's a lot of air bubbles um, in the Mastercast average weather here in Australia today but um, I'm going to go through And use these are just a butane torch. Just take some of these air bubbles out. And then I'm going to show you some effects and how to get some different effects again using the butane torch. So I think I love that the last cup there's not too many air bubbles left in it now. So, I don't need to spend a lot of time going on. So if we concentrate just maybe on this piece here, we add a little bit of heat. And as we add a little bit of heat, obviously this um, wants to spread out a little bit more. So and as it spreads out, there we go. It's really a teasing action. Um, you don't want to put your flame on it, it will catch on fire. Obviously you don't want that. That's not the aim of the game, you don't want to burn it. We just want to give it a little effect. So there you are, and you can see now, it kind of looks leopardy really, um, but it's just broken it up. Made it look a bit crazed. Same with the silver. So the silver, again, absolutely beautiful, it just goes on easy. You can see how easy that is. Just to make some really simple, beautiful effects. Again, you can always move it around and tilt it. Um, the other ways that I wanted to show you as well, using this too. You're going to get your uh, pop stick and just a bit on the pop stick like this. Smooth it on. You can always do a swipe. Action. That's probably that is uh, rose gold on. Rose gold, so you can do the swipe. Again, small amount of heat. So you can see I'm applying the heat quite close, but I'm actually not getting it too hot that it's going to then catch on fire or burn as such. But you can see here, you can go and move over, do it different ways, do a swipe and do this. You can see here it's popping up through the bottom still. Um, 
here we've we're, where it's sprinkled on earlier and come up and we've heated it and it's netted and separated away um, this is obviously holding a lot better um, but it depends on the design that you're after as well so these are the ones that um, I want to do a quite a detailed line with um, to be honest this is nowhere near sticky or set and as enough for to do what I want to do um, if I was to pour it you'd get the same result as this one so a very fine and thin um, application but basically what I want to do is wait till it's so thin uh, thick like a toffee and then simply let it run off and then lie it on so you get your get the example that I'm trying to show you um, it's a really thin line it doesn't want to spread out so much um, but the best way when it is running is to actually just get your pop stick with it on and run through it so you can get so many different results absolutely beautiful um, especially on this black background too makes it pop um, but I hope that has given you some really cool ideas on how to apply it um, and yeah going forward obviously depends what you want to do but yeah you'll be able to get some um, some really good results obviously all the colors this is your rose gold that's your aluminium it also comes in rich gold and a copper based enjoy and have fun